Hey guys, Zach with Edwards RV. Today we're going to be showing you this 2023 Mountain Series 22 FQS by Outdoors RV. As always, let's start up front and walk you around the outside, show you some features and finish up on the inside. Uh, first things first, we are heavy duty power tongue jack. Nice height, you can see our uh, chain caddy with the trailer plug. The chains are being used for our, our lock, but the trailer plug, you can see kind of how it mounts there. Two 30 pound propane tanks. The A-frame, you may or may not be able to tell, but it's welded right through uh, to the, the frame itself, which is awesome. A lot of RVs don't have that. They're welded below. Uh, toy lock system, so you can lock up generator, toys. Full fiberglass cap with the Rhino Guard uh, rock protection up front here. Moving on down the side, we have off-road clearance lights that are screwed in. So they're not just pop, they're actually screwed in. And then diamond scoring siding, so it doesn't shake. It's not going to rattle when you go off-road or down a bumpy road like other RVs you'd see would. Inch thick insulated compartment doors with a magnetic catch and metal hardware slam latches. Rubber checker plate floor. And then I'll let you guys come in here. You'll see we've got a battery disconnect, jack switches, couple 12 volts, and uh, LED lighting or LED switch for the lights in there. Below, auxiliary solar panel. I'll put 200 watt capacity for you know, folding panel, auxiliary panel, and there is uh, pre-wired for solar on the roof as well on this model. Power uh, awning with the metal weather shield, which may or may not come on the uh, video, but there's a little metal shield over there to protect the, the awning fabric when it's rolled in like it is. Outside speaker system, thermal pane insulated windows. There is an auxiliary um, propane outlet for an RV barbecue or a fire pit. And what I like about this, that outdoors adds, is they have a, an access here so you don't have to reach up underneath, you can actually see. And then when you're not using it, it just goes, closes, and then done. Uh, down low, we got Goodyear Endurance, radial tires, brand name tires, not knockoff tires, a Moride CRE 3000 shackle system, and KYB off-road shocks and decks or axles. Um, as far as the chassis goes, I think it's one of the best on the market. Same thing, though, I encourage you to go to Outdoors RV website, read about what they've done, and you'll get a little more information on that as well. Moving on back, we have Alloy Steps. Nice and lightweight, won't rust, easy in, easy out. 10 gallon hot water tank heater. XL ladder, doesn't shake when you go up, it's solid. The hitch, which is part of the toy lock package, so you got a hitch in the back. LED brake lights. Your dump station's back here, it does have a black tank flush. Another insulated compartment door for your outside shower and then a light for the dump station. Uh, the slide outs, I always like pointing out in the videos as well. Um, you may or may not be able to see, but underneath there's a, it's all finished in Phylon. It's not like a tarp material or anything that's gonna catch, it's actually finished solid. And then the seals on these are awesome. Nice tight seal, it does have a drain down there, so if you're not quite level, water's running back, it will rain down, drain down and still come out. Um, and then insulated too, which I may or may not point out on the inside if I remember, but that's that's kind of a perk of the outdoors RV. We'll finish up on the rest of this. Not much else to see other than kind of a, a mirror of the outside. And that is the outside of the 22 FQS. Pop our heads inside, show you some things, and finish up the video. Okay, so inside the 22 FQS, right when we walk in, there is a control panel here. We got our awning, power awning, power slide out, inside outside lights, tank uh, levels, and uh, hot water tank buttons and then your fresh fresh water tank has a 12 volt heater to my left one of the things everyone likes on this floor plan is you got a coat closet and a little drawer below and then straight in front of us we have our bathroom so you don't have to truck through the whole unit to access your bathroom your fridge and this and most importantly you don't have to put the slide up so i'm going to open the door here i'll let you guys have a look we got a nice big residential style shower little bit of counter space and lots of room for your knees on the bathroom. The fridge itself located here, Norcold, hardwood paneled, I believe eight cubic feet. I'll double check that when I announce off the specs, but I'm 90% sure that is. Um, and then here, one of the things I love about the 22 FQS in addition to walking, a pile of counter space on a trailer this size. This side, lots of cupboards, lots of drawers, lots of overhead and a nice big sink with a residential style faucet that will come out. Big dinette, extra thick dinette cushions that aren't gonna you know, collapse over time. 
the drawers down here, they have a travel lock on them. And then this one doesn't want to open up. There we go. And then when you're closed, I'm sure you, if you have an RV before, you probably have seen it, where these will fly it open. Outdoors added a lock to it so that if you are doing a tight corner and forget, it's not going to fly open on you. I did mention outside that the slide is insulated. One of the things I like to show customers, if you can get down, I might be able to do it. It's a little tight here. But there is a la layer of astral flow. You can maybe hear it kind of crunching. That runs the whole length of this. And I encourage you in any RV you look at, it's plywood here, not chipboard. And then it's also insulated. And so I think that's important because a lot of heat and cold weather or hot weather is lost through the slide. Up above, skylight, LED pot lights. Got a 12-volt Jensen LED TV. Furion Bluetooth uh, system. I'll run those outside speakers, inside speakers, and DVD player for this. In behind me, we got storage underneath here for slippers, boots, whatever. Bed that lifts up. Lots of uh, space beside the bed, 12 volts on either side. And then a max air fan. So I like to point this out. It does have the auto uh, feature, so it's in and out, reversible. I have one of these on my RV. I love it. I set the temperature, crank some windows to allow it to do its thing, and I don't even have to touch my AC in the summer day. So I really like that. You can also install this vent insulator that will uh, stop heat loss or uh, cold, cold air loss through that. A couple of things I like to do in my videos, or I started doing, is I'm going to announce some specs uh, on the 22 FQS. So I will pipe them off, and then after that, we'll finish the video. So dry weight on this unit, uh, 6,150 pounds as it sits. The total length is 26 feet, 8 inches. Uh, fresh water capacity, 80 gallons. Uh, water tank, or hot water tank, I should say, uh, in the back, I mentioned 10 gallons. Um, two 5,100 pound axles. The solar rating on the roof is good for 510 watts. So if you are adding panels, that's the max you can go. And then the portable one's 200 watts. Uh, 35,000 uh, BTU furnace. Uh, height is 11 feet, 5 inches. Interior height, 6 feet, 11 inches. Uh, width is 8 foot. That's standard. Um, grade capacity on this is 50 gallons. Black water tank is 40. Uh, cargo carrying capacity, so that's above the dry weight of 6150. You're able to haul 3,845 pounds. I would put that up against any RV that's 26 feet in this class. I don't think there's anything with cargo carrying capacity that much. This one has it because of the axles it has, which would bring the maximum trailer weight rating uh, to basically 10,000 pounds. Now, I want to explain that that is not what your truck has to be able to pull. That is what this trailer can weigh before it is overweight. So if you are looking at those ratings on outdoor site or on our site, note, I would start with the dry weight, figure out what you're going to pack. I guarantee you it's probably not 3,800 pounds, and then allow for that. It is a very, very much half-ton total trailer. I just don't want you to get confused on that. And uh, last but not least, if it was a titanium, that would bump the uh, dry weight to 6,630, but that's not it. We do have another titanium here. Short of that, if there is anything else you have question-wise, if I didn't touch up or you maybe want videos of other stuff, feel free to reach out to us. If you see us on YouTube, feel free to make comments on things you think we can do to improve the videos. We'd love to hear from you. And, yeah, give us a shout, 403-845-3328, or visit us online at edwardsrv.ca.